yes, today is gonna be a day. We're gonna get so much done. I woke up with lots of creative energy and ideas and inspiration and I have so many projects to work on. This is gonna be fantastic. Get a lot done today. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm doing something new. I'm trying out some new materials, some new colors. So much, so much. Uh-oh. Oh no. No, 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 You, you never get anything done. You're never gonna be anybody. Ugh. Fine. <sighs> Hello, my pretties. It's Linnell with a little PSA for you regarding suffering for your arts. Um, this concept is ages old at this point, and it's been so highly romanticized that artists are suffering, whether it's from pain or just tortured souls or addictions. Um, I think that it's a damaging concept that sometimes we still hold on to. Pain is something that we learn from. It's something we all experience in our lives through loss, through physical issues, uh, mental distress, trauma, physical ailments. Nobody is immune to pain and it does color who we are and it will absolutely color our artwork. I read an article earlier on Huffington Post where, where the author uh, makes the case that it's totally legitimate. If you look back at history, most of the most successful artists in terms of current sales and auctions and things were indeed tortured souls. But there's a difference between having experienced some pain and letting it inform who you are going forward and indulging in pain for the sake of your art. Because if you're indulging in pain, you're not moving forward. You're existing in a state where you're not growing. That's not where you want to be as a creator, as an artist. Not only is it not healthy for you as a human being, but it's not going to serve your art ultimately. Like, you need to be able to grow. So everything informs our artwork. Our joys, our greatest experiences, our most terrible experiences. All of it adds up to who we are and therefore what we put down on canvas or composing or whatever it is you're creating. All of this to say, take care of yourselves. Take the time to do that, please. So I'd love to get a discussion going in the comments about how you maybe overcome some of these issues. The balance of the tortured artist, if you have any of those concerns in your own life, along with taking care of yourself and being the best creator that you can. I'd love to hear what you have to say and maybe share to help anybody else that might be dealing with these things. If this is helpful to you, uh, share, subscribe, we'll be talking about all kinds of things about creating, being a creator, hopefully inspiring, funny, sometimes serious, but this is our space to do that, so come along with me. Take care and good night.